We're flying to Lanzarote, one of the Canary Islands off the coast of West Africa. We have a week to explore volcanic landscapes, coastal towns, beautiful beaches. Staying near Costa de Guise, we have so much to share with you. But before we get ahead of ourselves, our new adventures begin with a flight. arrived at our accommodation for the week. I'll leave a link to a video tour of the villa in the description. So on our first full day we were up early and ready to go to the largest market in the Canary Islands. arrived in the car park for the market. From here we've just got to walk up to where it's all happening. This market is huge. Just look at all those stalls. No, because I'm back behind, I've lost them. It's easy to get lost here. In the family group, it's easy to lose others. I found them though. come out and have a look at a sunset just behind me. Love a sunset. And we're at Mirador de Rio. De Rio. So this is a great place to park the car up. To grab some views and then 
to grab this view. Good morning. It's a very early start in Lanzarote. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. And we're off on a hike. Our destination was the starting point of a hike to Caldera Blanca, one of Lanzarote's many dormant volcanoes. arrived we've come to the side of the island which at the moment is quite cloudy very volcanic <laughs> definitely rock isn't it That's where we're heading for. We're just waiting for the sun to come out to warm us up. It's not even nine o'clock yet in the morning and it's cloudy. Hopefully the cloud will break and then we'll start warming up. But for the time being, that's where we're heading. Notice we've reached an area of green, so different from where we just walked from. Is that the centre of the crater? Wow, look at this. This is Montana Caldereta, the remaining crater of the volcano. Well, can you imagine this is the way? Looks pretty well laid out. But there's no arrows or nothing. And the journey continues. And the sun has decided to make an appearance as well. So we're going to start warming up now. Be going up there eventually. That's the smaller of the volcano. 
volcano. We came round here and looked in its crater and then we've been walking through the lava flow and we've been heading up here since. Oh my goodness. We're at the top. Yeah, I think this crater's a little bit bigger. Caldera Blanca. So we're 270 metres above sea level. And that is a big drop. just aren't enough. How's vast sound? So we're heading for the peak of this caldera, which is way over there. 0.6 of a mile as the crow flies. Got a great shot of the smaller one now. Look at that. Looks stunning from up here. Well, I don't know if you can see two little dots. That's where we were. And this is how far we've come so far. Believe it or not, we've still got some way to go. Onwards and upwards. It's getting a little bit windy up here now. Let's take my hat off. Blow away up here. And down there, to my right, the crater looking quite steep from here We got back. <laughs> the very top. Very top over there. So how many miles have we done? Oh, 6.2. That's a bit longer than that because the ground was very stony. We're just over a six mile hike. This place is a lot busier since we arrived. Let's head back to base. We have just parked the car up. It's early evening. We thought we'd pop into Costa 
take it easy for an hour to have a walk around. I don't want to come with a little tower. I'm going up. Next day we avoided the queuing crowds and instead wandered around and enjoyed the quiet fishing village of Arietta.
from Arietta we drove on and eventually stopped at Caleta del Mohon Blanco. So we've pulled in by the ocean. We have escaped the tourist crowds. And I have to say this is a pretty stunning view. Behind us we've got the mountains. On this side we've got the views of the ocean. All this is old lava flow. Lanzarote is peppered with large tarmac roads sweeping between valleys that are perfect for cycling. In fact, we had one or two cyclists using us as a windbreak. of an evening and we've just arrived in the capital of Lanzarote you can see the little orange top there someone is snorkeling so we're going to walk into the main harbour this evening have a look around and have something to eat when the rest of the gang catch up and stop taking photographs I love this statue
thinking. And we've got to rush for the ferry. The tickets. Elaine knows where we're going, don't you, Elaine? So, we took the ferry from Orzola and into the harbour. Now we're going to walk all the way along here oh, yeah. to this Playa de las Conchas beach. Cool. Which is supposed to be beautiful. And that is where we're heading for, I think. This looks very official. Gives us a good impression of where we're going. So we're heading for Las Conchas. And it says it's a five kilometre walk. I hope they know it's a five kilometre walk. You can cycle on this island. They hire bikes out. And there is a taxi service. I haven't seen a taxi yet, but we thought we'd walk, warm ourselves up. It's currently nine o'clock in the morning. We might as well walk while it's nice and cool. Leaving the capital behind. And yes, this is classed as the capital of the island. kilometers to go. These are your taxis. The sun is coming out. Nice little cactus garden. Wonder what they grow here. Just thought I'd climb up this mound to grab this view. And as you can tell, we're heading that direction. Lanes leading the way. This is where the road ends. 
should be heading down there next. We're finally here. It took us about an hour and 10 minutes to get here. So it is a bit of a trek, but when you see this beach, it makes it all worth it. Gorgeous beach. This beach is one of the top 10 beaches in Europe. It's just that you've got to get a ferry to get over here. Just our footprints in the sand. We're aiming for a sheltered part of the beach. They've picked a spot. Not a bad spot. It's pretty cool. These waves are big. We've left our girls resting on the beach while we are going to hike up a volcano as we do. There's our route to the top. That's the route we came along. Quite a few taxis there now dropping people off. to the bottom but we're the other end of the beach again we're gonna head along the beach back to the girls perhaps have a dip in this sea paddle at least so how many beaches can you come to when your backdrop is a volcano Do you want to wave? See? Yeah. Hola! There you go. Gracias. Whoop. Come in. Get ready for the dips.
Today, we're off to explore the resort of Playa Blanca. But first, a quick diversion to El Golfo to visit Lago Verde, a magnificent magnet for tourists. Bit of a whistle stop tour today. We're here at the lagoon. But it's busy. And it's only March. So the lagoon is down there. The only way to view it is from up there. You used to be able to walk on the beach, but they stopped that a few years ago due to people ruining it for other people by climbing up by the lagoon and eroding it away. Welcome to Playa Blanca.
last day in Lanzarote, we wanted to fill our boots and do some final exploring. Our first stop for Mara Beach, renowned for its surfing, spectacular scenery, and reflections in the wet sand, a perfect photo opportunity. Okay, we're at the beach and I'm gonna to attempt to open the door because it's quite windy. So way over there is La Graciosa Island. We were there the other day. Very windy, perfect for surfers. Heading over there. a volcanic rock at the top there. Now we're going into the centre of the volcano.
for your entertainment, we're going to walk around the rest of the volcano. So our time on Lanzarote is over and we have to fly home. We really hope you enjoyed our travels. Here's some of our final views of this incredible island and we'll see you soon on our next adventure.